Welcome. In a previous video, I walked you through how to create a fine-tuned model using a spreadsheet like this one, which looks pretty crazy, but using that and putting into OpenAI so you can get a fine-tuned model. Over here on the right-hand side, you can see on my list of fine-tuned models here and how to do that process. And I will link to that video below if you haven't seen it yet. What I'm gonna talk about in this video is how to take that fine-tuned model and integrate it into Novel Crafter to use more seamlessly while working on your book in Novel Crafter. So if you recall, if you're here in the OpenAI Playground, you add your system prompt, which is similar to the prompt that you had for the fine-tuned model you trained. And for the last video, I trained a model specifically on taking an outline and generating more comprehensive beats. So you have, for instance, this system prompt, which is you are an expert plotter. When given prose, return an expanded list of story beats that stays within the style of Jason Hamilton. And it doesn't need to be more complex than that. We just needed something uh, succinct and that uses my name so you can trigger that model into applying the style that we've trained it on. Then we just take a chapter summary here, place it in here, make sure that the model that you want is selected. And again, you can't change the name of these models. So be sure you're keeping track of which model is which because they all are just a jumble of letters and numbers. But I've got the right one selected here. So far, you're, you'll want to play around with the temperature and maximum length and stuff like that. I keep the maximum length at maximum. And, and I keep the temperature around 0.5 because that seems to be the best. But you can also put it up to a, as high as one. There's kind of a range in there. Test it out. Try it. See how it works with your specific model. But generally around there works. And so I've got a summary of what happens in a chapter here for my Fairy Queen series. And so if I hit submit... It gives me all of the beats that I need for that chapter. Now, I have been playing around with this a lot more since I made the last video, and it's pretty good. Uh, at least it's better than anything I'm able to get with prompting as far as creating the scene beats. However, uh, it is not perfect. It does sound more like my style, but it tends to actually, I've made it more creative. I've made it to a point where it just goes off in a variety of different directions, which isn't exactly where I want it to go, but it is better than what I had before and able to give me a good foundation that I can then build upon. So in case, for those of you who are curious if this technique actually worked, but let's say we wanted to integrate this into Novel Crafter. So so if I pull up a, a novel that I have built in here in Novel Crafter, down here in the bottom left, you'll see this space that says prompts. Go ahead and click on that. And here is where we can put together all of the prompts that we want to use. So there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, we have text replacement prompts, okay? These are the kind of things, if you go to the right section, if you select a phrase or a paragraph here, you'll see all of these different options pop up. Those are the text replacement prompts. Then we also have a workshop chat. Okay, and this is, if we go to the chat here, and then here under select all, you'll see the prompts that we have there. So we're gonna try adding this to both the text replacement so you can see how it works and the workshop chat. But let's start with the workshop chat because I think that is the more appropriate place to add a prompt for creating beats. We already have this one that it says scene beats from summary. So let's go and take a look about what that even looks like. So if you click on it, it gives you this view here and you wanna click on this that says instructions. And now you get to see the entire prompt that it's using and it's giving like examples, all kinds of different things. It's a complex prompt. Now, if you look at this whole thing, it's gonna look a little complicated, but something just to keep in mind here at the here at the bottom is an if else sequence, which basically says if there is an outline to look at in the context, then it can look at that and, and generate the beats. So let's just, test this out and see how what it does on its own before we add in our custom model. First, I need to make sure I have the information here in the scene. And yes, I do. I've got a couple of scenes here with some information. And so we can go ahead and go to the chat and under here under context, select this and we want to select scene context and then scene one from chapter one. Okay, so now it has the context of that scene. 
Now if we select here from scene beats from summary, we'll select GPT-4 Turbo for this. And here it's giving me a bunch of scene beats. And these actually aren't bad. This was some pretty good prompting under the hood to give it the context and everything. And here we have the scene beats. All right. So let's say we wanted to do this with our own custom prompt. Now, I am not an expert at all of the back end stuff that's going on with these beats, but we're going to try our best here to actually get this set up. The first thing we want to do is clone this system prompt. So when when you've clicked on the prompt here, go ahead and click on clone and you get scene beats from summary copy. So I'm going to say scene beats from summary summary and then call it fine tune. I'm going to leave all of this context information that it's got here. And then right here is where I'm going to insert my system prompt. So the system prompt is the one that I use to train the fine tune model. It's this little bit right here that we were using in playground. We're going to take that. I'm going to insert it right here. And you can leave a lot of this stuff that gives you examples and stuff like that. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I'm going to try it with and without and see if it makes any difference. But the main thing we want to have here is to have that same system prompt that we used when training it so that it can trigger the, the prompt to work. And then, you know, we can, I'll just leave everything else the same for now. And then we, the next thing we need to do is make sure we are using the right model. So. First of all, we want to delete all of these models that we have here because we only need one model for this particular prompt. And I've left, the only one I've left here is GPT-4 Turbo. We're going to click this little arrow here. I'm going to ca call this GPT-3.5 Fine Tune Outline to Beats, just so I have a clear label there. And then you click on this drop down. And if you have connected your account properly to OpenAI, you should see all of your fine tunes right here. And I know for a fact that the, the one I'm looking for is eight, the one that starts with 8U6 here. I'm gonna select that. We're gonna set the temperature to 0.5 like we had before. Max tokens, we'll leave the top P at the default. Max tokens, we're gonna bring that up to about 2000 and leave everything else at de default. And now we have this thing. Now, in case you're wondering, if you don't, for any reason, see your list of fine tunes here, what you can do is go to settings and make sure you are connecting your OpenAI API key here. And I had a video about Novel Crafter 101, which shows you how to get this API key connected to your OpenAI account. You will need this if you want to use your fine tunes. But assuming you have this all set up, you should see that fine tune model in this list. You make sure it's selected here. And then now, if we go to chat, and, and this is a new thread here that we can look at, and up here at the top, instead of saying uh, scene beats from summary, we select scene beats from summary fine tune, which there's only one model available for that. Have that there, make sure that we set the context for a scene, make sure it's this first scene, and then say, please make me the beats for the uh, scene. And all right, it's gotten, it's given me everything that I asked for. And interestingly, it actually did, I think, a better job here than it did in OpenAI. I'm assuming all of that prompting on the back end for the, the prompt that we gave it has resulted in all of this. And I'm actually pretty pleased with all of these beats here. Well, with the summary of the scene, at least, a very detailed summary. Still not perfect, of course, because it is a little more creative and goes off in some weird directions, but definitely something that I can work with here. Let's go ahead and go into the prompt and see what happens if we tweak this prompt just a little bit to include less of all of that other stuff. So we're going to leave this part of the system prompt and we're going to leave the if has a series and all of that if else statements. But we are going to take all of this prompting and I'm also going to, well, we'll leave the take into account the codex. Uh, there's this little line here that says take into account the following glossary of characters, locations, items, lore, etc. And then it gives you context codex, which means it's drawing from the codex. I only have one codex entry in this particular project, which is about my character Una, but she is relevant to the scene. So that is something I'm okay leaving. And then we'll leave all of this if else statement stuff here and just leave it at that and see if we can get any different results. So let's try this again. 
Make sure we give it the context of the scene. Make sure we've got the right uh, scene beat thing here. Uh, scene beats from summary, make sure we're selecting the correct model. And say, write me some beats. All right, and this is much closer to what I was getting directly out of OpenAI. So there is still stuff that you can do with prompting to increase the uh, perhaps the, the responses and everything. But for right now, this looks pretty good. Very comparable to what we were getting out of OpenAI directly right here. So that is how you set up something to be used here in the chat. Now, as a quick side note, I would just want to mention that the openings for my membership are closing this week. You definitely want to make sure you are getting in on that because after this week, it it's closing down. I don't know when it's going to be opening up again. And I'm debating whether to raise the price as well the next time I open it. I'm still figuring that out. It'll depend on the amount of work that I have to do and everything like that. But if you want to get a free fine tune model from me that will help you cut past all of the chat GPT isms, as I call them, the, the very overly flowery text, I will give you mine, the one that I created for myself for free with instructions on how to create your own and how to add it into Novel Crafter. Additionally, you get access to all of the books that I've written and all of the ones that I will write. Those will also be included as soon as they're done. And I have tons of other video information. We have live calls and lots of cool stuff that going on in this membership show. Be sure to check out the link below to, to get going on that because it will be going in just a few days. Now, let's say you want to set something up so you, it can be used here in the writing section where you just select a group of text and then say, you know, whatever you want to say. I have created a fine tune model that write, rewrites things in my style. So if I can select that and say, make it JSON, it basically goes through, rewrites it. And, and now this is in a much more accurate human sounding style that is my own, okay? So how do we set this up? It's a very similar process, okay? Let's go back to prompts, except we're gonna want one of these replacement prompts I'm going to select this expand prompt and we're going to clone it. Once again, we want to make sure we're selecting the correct model. So I'm going to say expand beats as the name here. We're going to delete all but one of these models that we have here. Select this model. We're going to rename it GPT 3.5 outline to beats model. Make sure you select the model that you want. Let's do a temperature of 0.5, max tokens of 2000. And that should be enough here. And then go to instructions. And here's where we make sure we craft the prompt. So we're going to use the same thing. You are an expert plotter, et cetera, et cetera. And there are a couple of things that this is uh, mentioning here. I'm going to just put my little system prompt here at the top. You are an expert plotter. When given pros, return an expanded list of story beats that stays within the style of Jason Hamilton. And then it has this section for contextual information, refer to prior words in the scene. I actually don't want that for this particular thing because I'm, I'm not looking to give it context of what happened in the scene. We're just looking to create story beats. Now, normally I would be creating the story beats in the chat and not here, but uh, with this all in mind, we can leave the, the codex context here we can basically remove the whole rest of this prompt here. And then here at the end, it says text to rewrite content or context selection. So that shows you that it, it will be looking at the selection that you've made and then expanding that into scene beats. So this is just a different way to do it. And if you have like a text rewriting prompt that will make more sense here, I'll actually show you mine. I make it Jason. Basically, all it says is you are an expert copywriter. When given prose, return copy edited prose that stays within the style of Jason Hamilton. Rephrase it to show instead of tell, and yada, yada, yada. The POV is so and so. And then it just give I give it the text, which comes in here through the user prompt. So it gets the text, and then it follows the instructions using the, the um, fine tuned model that I have designed just for this purpose. Okay. So if we go back to our expand beats thing here, and then now go to the right section, let's just say instead of putting the outline here in the plan section, let's just say for sake of argument that we put that here, okay? So this is 
summary of the chapter. And rather than flesh this out into scene beats in the chat or in the outline stage, we are just doing it here inside of the main editor. I don't know why you'd want to do that generally, but uh, I'm just showing this off. You'll notice here it ha we have a new button that says expand beats. If I click on that, it should access the, yep, and it has gone through and created the beats for me in the exact same style as what I got here in OpenAI. And that's really all you have to do. That's how you integrate your fine tune model here into Novel Crafter. It makes things much easier where you can do stuff just by the touch of a button. For instance, I can go here and just say, make it Jason. And now it has rewritten those beats to sound a little more like me. It, it was already sounding pretty good, but that just gives you an idea of what that looks like. So really cool stuff that you could do here. Any kind of fine tune model you can think of, you can integrate into Novel Crafter in some way which is a useful thing to have and definitely something I would encourage people to look into as you're creating these fine-tuned models. That's all I have for you today. If you want to know more about how to create a fine-tuned model, again, I made a video about that already, so definitely go check that out. I'll link to it here, and I'll see you in the next video.